Hi everyone. Today we're going to explain how the SENT SPC protocol differs from the SENT protocol. To address the exponential increase in the number of sensors in a single vehicle, Infineon specified SENT and SPC. SPC stands for short PWM code. SENT and SPC is a half duplex variant of the SENT protocol that allows a single master microcontroller to manage up to four slave sensors on the same wire, which reduces the cost. SENT SPC achieves this by introducing a new element into the SENT frame definition, the master trigger pulse, abbreviated as MTP. The master trigger pulse is the key to managing SENT SPC traffic. Each sensor is assigned a unique MTP length, which is defined by the specification as a multiple of the tick time. For example, the MTP of sensor 0 must be between 7 and 15 ticks. The controller interrogates a sensor by emitting a logic low MTP of the requisite length, and then relinquishes the line for the sensor to reply. Only the sensor interrogated is expected to reply. The microcontroller can interrogate different sensors by varying the length of the MTP. The SENT SPC frame begins with a master trigger pulse. Following the MTP is a latency period prior to the sensor reply. In telenolacroid decoders, this time is shown as a sensor response time. Otherwise, there are no structural differences between a message broadcasted continuously by a sent sensor and a message emitted upon request by a sent SPC sensor. To familiarize yourself with a sent frame structure, you can watch our video where we review each element of the sent frame. This concludes our video explaining sent SPC. To learn more about sent and sent SPC, Click the link to check out our other videos in our Sense series.